Tori, first of all, give me the the mood in the clubhouse. A little different, obviously. A couple of guys missing from last year. Oh uh, yeah, you got Lackey, uh, Vladimir, who's pretty funny in the clubhouse. Uh, 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 Figgins, he's gone. So I mean, it's, it's pretty different, but everybody's cool. The chemistry is, you know, here, and and I try to keep everybody laid back in here and have some fun. And and uh, Matt Sue is pretty happy over here. He's cracking jokes in the meetings, man. I think it's I think it's pretty fun. So the chemistry here is here, and uh, it's all about us going out there and playing with each other and getting getting to know each other. Tori, how does the offense change without Figgy at the top and without Vlad in the middle? Uh, well, you know, uh, 100 runs, you know, Figgy being at the top, you get 100-plus runs every year. I mean, that's that's pretty impressive. And uh, we got Ibar who's going to probably lead off, and, and uh, he's he's been growing over the years, and he looks pretty good. You know, last year he looked good, and with another year of experience, I think he's he's going to be good. And uh, just talking to Bobby Abreu, who's, who's always on base, 380 on base percentage, I'm pretty sure he's going to get that information from my guy and because uh, I've done it last year, and my, my, my on base percentage is higher than it's ever been. So I commend Bobby Abreu on that. Last year, Kendry Morales had his breakout year, MVP-type season. How important is it for this club for him to come back and hit like he did last year? Well, that's very important. I mean, we understand that the second year, you know, uh, a lot of teams make adjustments, and uh, I think Kendra Morales is one of those mature hitters that I think he can, he's going to make the adjustment. You know, they go home this in the off season, and and all these teams they look at film and and say he couldn't hit the low outside pitch or the pitch up. Let's stay there. You know, so they're going to make the adjustment. Now it's all about him making adjustments, and I think he's mature enough to do that. Tori, we sit there and we hear day after day people talking about the moves that the Mariners have made, huh. talking about <laughs> Talking about how the Rangers are going to be better. Do you guys feel, not disrespected, but kind of forgotten a little bit? Is that an extra chip in this clubhouse right now? Uh, well, it's not a chip. You know, we, we feel forgotten. That's 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 true. That's a true statement. But at the same time, uh, we're just going to go out there and play the game. We put ourselves in good positions to win. And, yeah, we see Seattle. They make some pretty good uh, <laughs> trades and acquires. And uh, I think that they're pretty good. And uh, the Texas Rangers are always good. You know, they, I don't know what happens in August and September, what, why they do that. But they have a lot of guys that, that swing the bat, that, you know, the pitching and everything. But you can't worry about that. We worry about the Angels and, and do what we have to do.